Hello my fellow gamers, today Morning Pokemon decided to release more DLC news and had no intention of this even coming out, but here we are and so I thought it was coming on the 22nd, but uh, I guess maybe they're doing it every weekend or something. I don't know what anyways here we are from our dlc news and they released some new pokemon moves into the game i just saw the trailer and i want to go over them and just see the potential how good these pokemon moves could be obviously we don't know the move power the accuracy the pp etc but i think because of the description of what we've seen i think we can have a pretty good assessment of what these moves can really be based on obviously their typing and stuff like that so the first one up we got to talk about is this new move called upper hand with this fighting type physical move the user reacts to the target's movements and strikes with the heel of its palm if the target was trying to use a priority move, upper hand will get the jump on them, allowing the user to attack first, causing the opponent to flinch without fail. This move will fail if the target was writing a priority move. This move, uh, well, I don't know how good, I, I don't think this will be as good as a move. You have to always rely on your opponent going for a priority move, like bullet punch for example, and while that can be good, um, there's just, you can't always reliably predict on it. Like, for example, if the back caliber, back caliber is like low on HP, right? Or like scissor, for example, and they hit you with a bullet punch. That's understandable. We can go for like upper hand, but other Pokemon that may not have priority move like right off the bat or something. I, I don't know. Um, and also, I assume this thing also overgrows, uh, Sucker Punch users. So that might be good on like King Gambit, for example, which always clicks Sucker Punch. But then again, you could also be played by it and it goes for Couch Out Cleave. So, I mean, I don't know. This move seems interesting, but... This caveat right here um, really throws me off where if the target isn't going for a priority move, this will fail. I feel like they should not have that in. Uh, upper hand could be so much more of a better move. Um, with that being said, um, it, we're still waiting for its power and stuff, but um, I expect this to be like a 70 base power move, 60 base power move, something like that, because it's like a priority semi move and it will flinch the opponent. So it's basically like fake out and like sucker punch all in one. Um, in my opinion, Sucker Punch with the caveat that the opponent has to go for like a priority move. This move seems okay, nothing spectacular, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, next move we have is Psychic Noise. This Psychic type special move deals damage as it bathes in the target in abrasive sound waves. This attack also prevents the target from recovering HP through moves, abilities, or items for a certain number of turns. Um, this move isn't actually all that bad. Um, like, for example, like, you prevent, like, you can block Don Dozo from going for, like, healing with, like, leftovers or anything that effect. I feel like this move could be solid. I don't know the base power of this. I assume it'd be, like, for example, let's just go with, like, 80, right? This could be, like, an 80 base move. I don't see this move really bad but i don't see it amazing uh, i just think its base power might be low if it's like something like 90 base power this move is incredible you're going to use this over psychic obviously but if it's like 80 base power yeah i can see this being used in a couple pokemon but would you really use it over psychic for base damage unless you're like for example you're running like a support set for like any pokemon for example like for example let's look at hatterene right if you want to use psychic noise over psychic because you're a defensive like you know stalwart kind of just sitting in there and you just want to make sure you be the absolute defensive beast and annoy the heck out of pokemon then you go for psychic noise but if you're going for absolute damage i think you click psychic so this move i this move will definitely be used more than upper hand in my opinion although i mean i don't know i think I, i'm so mixed on upper hand i feel like this could be such a great move but always predicting when opponent's going for a priority move while you're taking a move slot i feel like you're just like a three move indie for like a long time then i don't know that's just my my issue with this move but yeah this move will be good at this will be move, i think this move will be better than upper hand so that's just my opinion let me know in the comments what you guys think about that we also got more information Information on Raging Bolt. This is an electric dragon type Pokemon. That's a pretty interesting typing. I don't think we have a typing like that since like Zekrom or something. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I just don't remember. So yeah, um, Raging Bolt has a new move called Thunderclap. This is an electric type special move that allows the user to go first if the opposing Pokemon chosen an attack as its next move. This user unleashes an electric bash to deal damage, but this move fails if the target is not readying an attack of its own. Now this is a move that I feel like Upper Hand should have been. This move is actually pretty solid. It works just like sucker it's basically sucker punch right this is basically sucker punch um electric type sucker punch this move will definitely be good in my opinion uh, at least on raging bolt right i don't know its stats but as a long neck giraffe i could see this thing being kind of slow Sl like a slow like maybe like 60 70 speed maybe i think 65 speed right and then you have a bit bulk and then you have a good special attack right and so i think this is what this move could really be good for this thing allowing to go first is basically electric type sucker punch like i said before and the only thing stopping is like 
great tusk and stuff which is a pain because now you do have a pokemon that can have full immunity to it but on the second hand side like if there's no ground types in this thing can do like a lot of damage but the only issue is there's tinglu lenders Therian, and great tusk running around so i'm not sure how useful this move will be but i'm sure this will find a way to um be useful at one at some point overall i think this move is probably the best move we've seen so far over second noise i feel like this move would definitely be used a lot i think we also got one last move in iron crown iron crown was relieved revealed to be a psychic and steel type let's see it's got a new move called tachyon cutter um this steel type special move never misses allowing the user to so we got two special attackers basically these paradox book one um so this sp steel type special move never misses allowing the user to unleash two successful hits on a target this a pokemon attacks by firing off blasts of energy from its horn i think this move will be good this move is solid there's nothing bad about it but there's also nothing great about it right it reminds me of double hit that's the that's the kind of vibe i'm getting it depends how much base power this thing has i think this thing should have like at least 50 base power i think that's pretty solid i think that's what it's going to be 50 base power special type steel type move that also hits twice um i think that's pretty solid and still psychic in this metagame as long as it has good stats which i mean it's a paradox pokemon so i'm kind of confident it will unless they got iron leaves and it absolutely gives like a horrid uncomfortable speed stat but as a steel and psychic type pokemon i mean it's still weak to like dark and ghosts and like stuff and like that but this thing has so many resistances as steel and psychic type pokemon it can take on a lot of things it's basically the same type against metagross and because it's a paradox pokemon like even though it's i guess technically base stats are worse um with pokemon being more knowledgeable at the competitive scene i mean it's stats could be distributed much better i hope this thing is actually really good like they sold on the iron leaves um it only made walking weight good i hope uh, um th this thing iron crown is good i think how i would rate this i think i think thunderclap and Takion are definitely the best moves so far and then we have psychic noise and then upper hand my only issue with upper hand man like if priority move bro like it should have been any attacking move i don't think it should have been priority move that's too niche in my opinion to just go after priority move i get what they're trying to do but Nah, I just I just don't see it. We also got more DLC news. Um, we got all of our starter Pokemon back. Um, from um Cinderace to Snivy to Chimchar. So we're gonna finally get Contrary Superior after two generations. We get Embar back. I mean, he kind of sucks. We get Swampert back, but you don't got your Mega Evolution. We get Feraligatr Sheer Force back. We get Infernape back. Oh my God, I missed that thing. Um, Incineroar. Well, that's for the VGC players to whine about. Blastoise, um, etc. We get all the starter Pokemon back, so that's gonna be really interesting um, to see how they fit. Now it's been about two generations for a lot of them, or I think just Unova, right? For something like that. So yeah, I'm really interested to see where Contrary Superior will fit now. Um, now that it's been two generations of Power Creep and it hasn't seen the Day of Light since then, I should probably check how it's doing in National decks. But let me know in the comments below how it's doing in National decks and how do you think it's gonna fare in the current OU meta game. And lastly, we got a couple. We got a new thing called the 19th Terra type. So this is like a new Terra type, allow you to change your strategy. I'm just going to take a guess on this before like the actual news is released. I think this means I think it'll probably terrestrialize to like a normal type, or you get to choose you get to choose before the battle what Terra type is going to be from this or some of that effect, and then you can fire off whatever type Terra blast you want. I don't know. I'm just. I, I think that's what it's going to work like something like that. I'm not sure. I'm just basing it off of like the 19 Terra type based on Terrapagos's um design. But from what I've seen, this has all the 18 types. So my opinion is this thing is going to have all the 18 types, and you can like change up your typing from that aspect. But and again, I'm not really sure. Um, so this is something new. Um, I'm, I am very excited for this. It's going to be very interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the new moves. New move seems interesting, but man, upper hand so, so much potential. Why do they put this? Why do they put this? Just the, in my opinion, at least, I think this is a failure. I don't think this should be in there. Priority move is way too niche. They should have put an attacking move just like every other priority move. I think that would have been great. And I feel like upper hand should have been where it deals damage, but it'll deal double damage if the opponent's going for if you want to put the priority move or just a regular move, right? And you could have it like a base like 60 power, 60 power fighting type move or some of that effect, right? I don't, I don't know, like or 70 base power and maybe you won't do double damage, but I, I mean, I don't know. It could be, it could do somewhat more damage. I don't know. It's just, there's so much it could have, they could have went in different directions with upper hand instead of if the target wasn't running a priority move. Like really? I mean, I don't know. Anyways, these are the new moves. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about them. And I'll, got, I'll see you guys in the next one um coming soon anytime join the discord as well link in the description down below and thank you to my members for continuing to support me if you guys want to be a member support me on here on patreon or on youtube the link is in the description down below anyways catch you next time bye